Postmaster General DeJoy, um, as we have heard and you mentioned and others have heard, uh, uh, the Postal Service made a number of changes in two very large uh, facilities in Richmond, Virginia, uh, as well as Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, unfortunately, the, that implementation, as we heard from Ms. Hall, has uh, caused some problems uh, and service uh, disruptions uh, during that time. I have the chart here for folks uh, who are in the audience. Uh, One-time service declined um, after the Postal Service implemented changes uh, in Richmond uh, and unfortunately is still unreliable, as you can see from the chart here. Uh, Atlanta is particularly uh, problematic, uh, where we saw service uh, plummet. Uh, in fact, uh, inbound first-class mail has dropped to only 36% on time, 36% on time. Uh, in addition, cost savings uh, have not uh, been realized. Uh, estimated the Richmond facility, for example, incurred about $8 million in unexpected uh, uh, cost as a result of some of these changes. So my question for you, sir, is given, given these service delays and increased cost, um, uh, is the Postal Service still moving forward uh, with these planned network changes? And do uh, you think it's uh, prudent now to perhaps uh, try to evaluate exactly what happened in these two locations to make any changes that may be necessary before you continue to roll it out on a nationwide basis? Yes, first of all, uh, you know, you're correct in regards to uh, the service uh, deteriorating. We recognize that. We apologize to the uh, constituents that have received that service. But in the long term, if we don't make these changes, that will be every day, everywhere around the nation. Uh, the, the problems that we are having with regard to both facilities being open have nothing to do with the fact that we want to process packages with a conveyor rather than by hand, that we want to fill trucks and have it run 90% full instead of 30% full. It has nothing to do with how we, um, uh, uh, we want to make one trip you know, 300 miles away to pick up no mail versus two trips a day to pick up no mail. And a host of other operational and strategic initiatives that we have in the, in, in, in the plan that enable us to compete with private industry because that's the law that you all have us operating under. To the extent of the other, the, the problems that manifested, this is an organization that has not engaged in change in over 15 years, right? These are, we are taking longstanding broken practices and, and, and a, 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 a less than engaged management style and try and transition from losing $137 billion over the last 15 years to competing with a FedEx or UPS, operate like a FedEx or UPS. The, practice, the, the issues that we had here were, in fact, management issues on the ground, were, in fact, employee attendance issues, were, in fact, basic management tactics that now that the organization is engaged, I am quite confident, I see it. I see the whole team getting better, play, you know, understanding the transition that we have to make, committing more to the transition that we have to make. And I say, sir, we don't have another choice but to carry on. It is a good plan. It's a simple plan, right? We have $20 billion worth of deferred maintenance. That's what we're fixing. Postmaster, if I just, uh, uh, in, and, and I, I, I understand that change is very hard, especially in a very large organization. It's incredibly uh, difficult. The point that I'm making is that uh, we look at these two facilities with the changes that you've made that have had uh, disruptions and problems. You're not, you said that's gonna happen throughout the system in the long term, yet we're not seeing that currently in these others. We're seeing these two particular facilities with these changes are having this kind of, of impact. I'm not against change. You and I have had that discussion before. Our change is good, but if you're starting to see that kind of impact uh, with these changes at these two facilities, is it time just to pause a little bit and say, okay, what, what do we need to tweak? What do we need to change? That's not going to result uh, in this. Uh, I'm not going to bury my head in the sand and say, you got to stay in the status quo. We know that's not working. I understand what you're asking me now. And, sir, we have, we have paused. We have changed. We have reorganized. We have committed additional resources. Uh, we are, I have taken my foot on and off the pedal as appropriate to capitalize on the momentum that we have in making the change, the time period that we have before we run out of cash, but recognizing some of the weaknesses that we have in deploying. And I'm very sensitive to that and have stopped many initiatives. There were many more, a few, few more plans supposed to roll out this year, but also within the organization, some of the, some of the, the local things. These plants will succeed. With, with three months, four months into Atlanta, we moved almost 2,000 people from 10 locations around the city into one, right? That, 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 you know, we, we went from processing 
uh, packages by hand to do in a million a night, right? Uh, uh, Richmond, Richmond. I had a conversation with the OIG last week. She went to Richmond. There's a different attitude within the organization there in terms of learning how to process using in a, in a refurbished plant, using the proper tools, using the proper instruction. That was void. That is part of what we're trying to rebuild here. Engagement with our workforce, standard management practices. But we're not doing this blindly with an intent to destroy service. No, I, 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 and I would never imply that, but I would say, so I, I want to just say, I, I heard you say that you are slowing things down. You are taking a look to see uh, as those numbers improve, could we have transparency? As those numbers improve, which you contend will happen with your changes in, in both Richmond and Atlanta, uh, until we see that, uh, you're not you're slowing down the implementation around the country? Is that an accurate well, I would not have construction underway. I am mindful of the transition to avoid circumstances like that, and that's how I will deploy myself. Those two plants, Richmond and Atlanta, and the whole Georgia area will be the, the finest running parts of the organization very shortly. All right, and you know, we have to allow time to transition. Uh, there are consequences. I did not cr create this problem that exists or this trajectory that, that is there, but I'm, 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 we, we have to move out, and we're very, very mindful of, of, of this, and we'll uh, I appreciate put every that. effort to stop that from happening. Great, thank you, thank you. Uh, the, the Postal Service uh, recently made another change uh, that's causing issues, and that's the local transportation optimization. Inspector General Hall, you mentioned that uh, in your opening comments, and the, the change uh, was implemented in Richmond, which the Postmaster General mentioned. But your office uh, published a report yesterday, which you referenced as well, uh, showing it a contributed service declines there. Uh, briefly, because I'm running out of time, does this change have concerns for you, particularly in rural areas, uh, which are... Uh, it tends to be uh, folks that are most vulnerable to uh, these kinds of changes. Yes, we did issue the report yesterday. We found that uh, when the Postal Service implemented this in October, that service declined by 21 percentage points. And the um, majority of the zip codes that were impacted by this local transportation optimization, the vast majority were in rural areas. So we have some concerns. We'll be continuing to look at that. But right now, that was the first one that had been implemented, and we saw that the service decline was most uh, most significant in those rural areas. Great. We'll explore that uh, further in uh, remaining time. 